Hello, welcome aboard the Blind Date, my 1991 130, and we're going to do some maintenance today. We're going to change the oil on the transmission, or as Yamar refers to it, the reduction gear or reverse gear. And it's really simple, it's not going to take long, and it is a beautiful day out here on the bay. So let's get started. Okay, let's first talk about what kind of oil we should be using. I'm going to be using a 30 weight oil. I have a 2GM20F and the F designation just means that it's cooled by not only raw water or seawater but it's also cooled by fresh water. In my owner's manual the 2GM20 says that it I can use either 30 or 40 weight oil for my you know, kind of climate in this area. The range for 20 to 35 degrees Celsius which is 68 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit is 30 to 40 weight oil. We're kind of on the lower end of that in terms of being more moderate temperature here in Southern California so I use 30 weight oil. And I do want to say that there is some confusion online about what kind of oil should go in your transmission or your reduction gear. When I bought this boat over 20 years ago the broker who sold me the boat also had 130 and he took me on his boat and he showed me automatic transmission fluid, ATF, that he used for his transmission. He told me that's what I should be using on mine. And when I bought the boat I found ATF uh, automatic transmission fluid on the boat. But the first time that I had the boat worked on by a diesel mechanic he pointed out that it should be 30 weight oil and he showed me on the owner's manual where it says that and I'll put the page up on the screen. I looked this up online and there is a lot of confusion and some people claim that their owner's manual said automatic transmission fluid yet on the transmission itself was a tag that said 30 weight oil. And Yanmar did use different transmissions or as they call it reduction gear or reverse gear uh, on different models. And I did find notes in the manual where if you have a 3HM35, you should be using automatic transmission fluid. The manual itself is confusing because it at one point says that 3GM30 should be uh, the same oil that you use for the engine, but then in another part in the manual it indicates that you don't use the same oil as you're using for the engine. So there's confusion. I would recommend that you look at your owner's manual, that you check and see if there is a tag on your transmission that has the oil recommendation on it. And if that doesn't clear it up for you, then contact a Yanmar dealer. And they can be really helpful. You'd be surprised sometimes when you call these technicians that uh, they'll provide you with a lot of uh, help. So 30 weight oil for my 2GM20 and uh, how do we get the oil out? There's, there's no drain plug like you'd have on an automobile either for the engine or for your transmission and you don't have gravity helping get the oil out. You have to suck the oil out and you can either use a hand pump to do that or an extractor that has a little motor. And I bought one a few years ago. It's very inexpensive. I'll put that information up on the screen. It hasn't broken down yet. Uh, and even if it does, I spent so little money on it, it'll be worth it. This is the little pump and uh, it just has alligator clips that you hook up to your battery and pump the oil out. In addition to using the little extractor pump, I also use a five gallon bucket and have the pump inside that bucket because where the hose is attached you always get a little bit of a leak and that way you don't get a mess all over the place. And the amount of oil that goes back into the transmission for the 2GM20 is only 0.25 liters and that comes out to about uh, 8.45 ounces. So very little oil. And I won't pour, you know, 8 plus ounces back in without checking it. When you do the extractor, you don't get all the oil out like you would out of an automobile because you don't have gravity working in your favor. So you don't want to overfill it. So what I'll do is I'll take all the oil out, at least all that I can get out, and then I'll put 
uh, some oil in, check the dipstick, and you know, kind of monitor it before I put all eight ounces in uh, because I don't want to overfill it. My best access to the transmission is back here in the aft compartment. So I'll pull up the uh, topper and these cushions so I can get uh, to the transmission access point. You can see the orange dipstick on the top of the transmission. There's a little O-ring on this dipstick. You don't want to lose that. And there's a line right here where the oil should at least be to. The hardest part of this job really is it is very difficult to thread this back on correctly. And it's been uh, cross-thread by a mechanic before, which then caused the dipstick to get uh, to rub up inside the transmission smoothing out a spot on the dipstick. So you want to make sure you don't get that cross-threaded when you put it back on. Okay, I need to connect these alligator clips that go to the extractor to my battery. And the initial wiring for these alligator clips was pretty short, so I spliced in some more wiring so it would be able to reach my batteries. My batteries are on the port side stern in a locker. So uh, I've put enough wire on it that it will now fit those batteries. So I'm going to run it through this port and then we'll hook it up to the batteries. I'm going to tape the extraction hose into this empty bottle to collect the oil. And then I'm going to put the bottle in the five gallon bucket. We have the intake hose in the transmission. We have the extraction output hose in the bottle that's in the five gallon bucket. And now we just have to turn it on. Okay, I think that's about all we're going to get out of there. Remember, it is just a little over a cup, so it's 8.45 ounces. That's not very much. And you're not going to get it all out. Some of it kind of uh, is on the wall of, the, of these lines, too. And you can set the lines up so they'll drip the rest out. But I think we've just about got everything out that we're going to get out. So this is what we got out. And, you know, I would say that's probably close to a cup. And as I said before, I'm not going to pour, you know, 8.45 ounces in. I'm going to pour some in and then check the, check the dipstick because we don't know exactly how much we got out. Though I might measure this and let you know. Well, we got exactly uh, a cup out. So there's very little left in there. So I think we did a pretty good job on getting the oil out. We've got the oil out, so now we're ready to put the new oil in. Where the fill hole is, it's a little difficult to get a funnel there. So I have a funnel with a hose to make it a little easier. And then I've put a cup of oil in this container.
All right, I think we've got it all in there. I'll just let it settle and then I'll check it with the dipstick. All right, we've got the oil in. We know that we got a cup out and we know that we put a cup back in, so we should be in good shape. As I mentioned earlier, one of the more difficult things is actually just to get the dipstick back in. It's kind of at a weird angle and the I have a hose that's in the way. But make sure that you have this O-ring back on your dipstick that it didn't fall off. And uh, I'll check the level. That's good. All right, we got it done. We got the transmission changed. Not too difficult. All right, we got it done. We got the transmission oil changed. And we got a lot of the day left. Time to get out and have some fun. The main thing is, is make sure you're using the right oil for your transmission. And consult your owner's manual. And if you're still not clear, consult a Yanmar dealer. I have other Yanmar diesel maintenance videos on changing the engine oil, changing the fuel filters, and changing the impellers, so check those out. Thank you for joining me. Please subscribe and please like this video, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.